you guys welcome back to bookish ramblings i'm with my mom today she hasn't been in very many videos but um i was gonna go into work this morning but then my manager texted me and was like it's gonna be like a rainy day so you don't have to come in if you don't want to so me and my mom decided to have like a mother daughter day Yay. impromptu so um we're gonna like do some thrift shopping yeah we're about to go in a thrift store and i just wanted to take you guys along today because i've never vlogged an outing that we've done before so i thought it would be like just nice to vlog the place we're going to be going into first is park avenue outlet thrift did you say i have been here before you have it's been years okay yeah i don't remember it so we'll see i'm obviously going to go look and see what books they have so hopefully they have a good selection so yes <laughs> was a bust it was kind of big but it was mostly like clothes um and their books were like almost non-existent they had like one small shelf with just a few books and the books were like in plastic bags so you had to buy the whole bag but the bags were only two dollars a piece so it would have been worth it if i had seen something that i really wanted but they didn't really have like anything interesting so we found another random thrift store i don't even think it has a name it just says thrift store but it's really small so we'll see what they have had a little more luck. I found a book, um, Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. Never heard of this book or series before, but it's book one in the Reckoners series, and I looked it up on Goodreads, and I saw like three five-star reviews from people I follow, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try, and it was free. All their books are free there all the time, so that's nice. So this was free. Let me know if you've read this and if you liked it, because I'm really excited about it. And then my mom found a couple things. She got this picture frame, which the woman gave her for free. And how much was this? Dollar. This was a dollar. It's a belt. So Perfect there's that. Shape. And then they like had, nude. yeah, it is in good shape. And then they had like a whole thing of watermelons outside and they gave us one of those for free too. So the first place was no good, but this place made up for it. <laughs> so <laughs> now I think we're going to Goodwill and what's the other? Allie's Attic is the name of the place that's like right next to Goodwill, so we'll see what we find there. What I'd say about that place though was that actually the last two places we went, they're really crowded. Is it just me? Or were they crowded? No, they were crowded. Okay, there was like people everywhere, so that's why I haven't been filming inside because I'm awkward. And then this place was like really chaotic because there were people everywhere and there were like dogs running around and barking and it sounded like people kept breaking things, so it was kind of chaos, but we got free stuff. Okay, so I found two books in Goodwill. I found a Dear America book, Look to the Hills by Patricia C. McKissick. I have read this one before, but it's been a long time and I don't really remember it. So I got this one for my collection. And then I also got Code of Honor by Alan Gratz. I've seen this author before, but I don't think I've read anything by him. But this is, um, Neither of these are Christian fiction, by the way, but they're like kids' books or like middle grade, I guess. I'm assuming this is middle grade or YA, I'm not actually sure. But this is like historical fiction? No. Yes. No, this is not historical. This is some kind of contemporary thing. Um, but it sounded really good. Um, so yes, we'll see about that one. It looks good, so I hope it is. Um, and then my mom found a few things at Goodwill, like, a jar and like some random random a items. Of books for Trace. Oh yeah, she got a couple books, like kids books um, for my nephew. So now I think we're going to Liberty Books and I'm gonna get 
bubble tea while we're out because there's this place near Liberty Books that my coworker told me about and she said they have really good like drinks and matches and stuff but I really want bubble tea today because I haven't had it in a long time so we're gonna go there too so yes an outro the other day so I'm here um yeah I just got the three books what was the last place we went into oh yeah Liberty Books so I finally got to show you a little bit of the inside of that place it's pretty big they've moved things around a little bit um they used to have another room 
but then they like closed it off for whatever reason but now they're like expanding again so that'll be nice also i didn't even show you the whole place because the first like when you first walk in there's a big room and that's also where all of the christian books are i didn't show you any of that because you know obviously there were cashiers there and i didn't want to film in front of them but i showed you the rest of the store when i could be like discreet and there was no one around but i actually didn't find anything there which is actually a good thing because i've been trying not to buy new books as you know so i'm i'm actually really glad that i didn't find anything and I just got the three books total which I already showed you so yeah thank you guys for watching this little like thrift shopping vlog with me and my mom I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you've bought any books recently and if you've heard of the books that I got today if you read them what you thought love to hear about it down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next book sharing video bye